every group that I've been in over these past two years, I've been put in these new, unique, and uncomfortable situations that require you to adapt. I actually remember my first day in Latin Ensemble. I walked in prepared to play my flute because, you know, that's my main instrument. But it turns out that that day, I think the first instrument that I ended up even touching was the conga. That's such a valuable skill to have to be able to voice your opinions and ideas and in the context of a group is because when you get out in the real world, you're going, that's what you're going to have to do. And you don't have anyone around to hold your hand and tell you how to do something. So the instructors, they're giving you that experience, but in the controlled environment. This is John Lee, and I am the director of the Jazz Guitar Ensemble here at Towson University. In this ensemble, not only do we play jazz, but we play a ton of other styles of music. Anything from funk to indie rock to reggae to Afrobeat um, to free jazz to Duke Ellington scores. I think it's super important in today's modern age that guitar players can do a lot of different types of things. Um, another thing that I think is super important is for everyone to write their own original music and that's how they grow. Uh, each semester every one in the ensemble has to bring in an original composition for a and arrange it for the ensemble to play. What kind of skills and experiences do the students get from playing in this ensemble? I think it's really hard to play with three or four or more other guitar players and very quickly we realize that we have to find our place. Uh, what can we do to make everyone else sound better and stay out of everyone's way at the same time making music a conversation? Towson Symphony Orchestra. I have had so many wonderful experiences. Um, I've gained leadership experience. I've learned how to communicate well with others from different backgrounds. I've learned what it means to be a part of a group and really connect with each other across sections. I've worked under multiple conductors, but Tigoni not only cares about us learning new things, but he also cares about us as people. I came to Towson with extensive orchestra and chamber music experience. I just love the music department at Towson. It's just phenomenal and I love it. Although the symphony orchestra at Towson is a large group, we all hold a high level of respect for one another as artists. I've come to know the ensemble as a place where I can take creative risks, as well as a place where I can establish lifelong friendships. Quintet was really a great experience. Through participating in the brass quintets here at Towson University, I've grown so much as an artist. In a brass quintet, there's a trumpet one part, trumpet two, French horn, trombone, and tuba, meaning every person has a separate part from the other person. Definitely getting used to that individual responsibility and learning your part which makes it so much easier when you collaborate with your peers. The rehearsals work in this way. There's two 50-minute rehearsals in the week. One of those rehearsals is with a faculty member and one is completely separate from that. So it's just you and your peers collaborating together. That definitely 
made it such a great personal experience for me collaborating with musicians that I wouldn't have otherwise collaborated in such, you know, um, in a smaller setting. So that was really a great experience. We got to do some community performances, some semesters too, which was really fun. It's definitely different from high school in a way that the music's harder, but also you definitely do have some more independence. such amazing professors like Professor Kalbacher who teaches it. She is just a visionary. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty awesome. Lots of opportunities for all folks to explore everything from silly children's opera to modern musicals. And we hope you will join us and discover what it means to be a true singing actor. Yeah, I personally enjoy the experience that I get of performing my arias or other arias from different operas or scenes on the stage instead of just having to prepare them for juries and things like that. Rehearsals are fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's certainly time for fun when in rehearsals. Yeah, I would say on the practical side, um, you have a pianist in this class, a wonderful pianist who it will be willing to work with you for anything that you personally need to work on. There is some musical theater rep, that's not the main concentration, so I would say that's a huge difference, most likely from high school, depending on where you went. One of the things that I loved about the Towson community when I was still looking at colleges my senior year, and one of the things that I still love about Towson's community, is just that everyone is very inclusive. And soon after I started, all the upperclassmen started welcoming me and talking to me. Eventually I got used to it. I was able to really enjoy the music that we were making at such a great level, since it's an ensemble full of people who are interested in music at a higher level or are pursuing music for their careers. We're held to a high level of standard and our level of understanding and execution and performance is much like a professional group. One performance that sticks out to me personally is we got to go perform at an animation festival in Baltimore. We performed a score that we had composed for a short animated video with a bunch of other musicians at the venue and it was a really neat experience. The TU Percussion Ensemble is one of the most innovative ensembles in the department and is one of my favorite ways to interact with other musicians. It's always just all around a great time. A musician's career um, involves wearing many hats. Um, my performer hat is whenever I'm at a gig. Uh, my educator hat is whenever I'm teaching a lesson, teaching a clinic, or explaining to someone after a concert that, uh, you know, this is a marimba and not a xylophone. Am I a musician today? Technically, yes, I still am. But my actual career, I am an arts administrator. I've transferred those skills that I've learned as a musician over to arts administration. It took me a while to kind of figure out what it is that I really wanted to do, uh, but having the ability to kind of imagine and foresee myself in different kinds of careers helped me shape 
what it is that I wanted to do today. Since graduating from Towson, I got to start my own composition series in Baltimore City. I became the administrative assistant of orchestral activities. And at Towson, I got to explore different kinds of arts administrative roles. All of those experiences have definitely helped me become who I am today, which is an arts administrator. As an Air Force musician, I can have different jobs under the same umbrella of being a professional vocalist. There's a lot of opportunities for really unique experiences and unique performances. So whether I'm in Texas, where I am now, or in Japan, where I was for two years, that's always going to be my main job. If it weren't for some of the professors at Towson, I wouldn't even be aware this career existed. It was because they not only cared about my education and development in the moment, but they also cared about me and my career and wanting to see me be successful. I'm so thankful for that. I just knew that I had a, a very serious drive to be excellent at my craft and that eventually led to leading a performance career where it led to television appearances, audio recordings, writing for film and TV, education, teaching, and it's powerful when you immerse yourself in your subject and let it sort of take you as long as you are willing to put the work in, you'd be surprised where your days studying at Towson or at anywhere, you know, will lead you. When I was an undergrad, I wasn't exactly sure what my career path was going to be. I was fortunate enough to have some really great professors at Towson, Dave Ballou, Jim McFalls, a handful of others. I think my experiences at Towson were super, super beneficial. You know, it's a large school, but being within the arts program enabled me to be in a sort of tight-knit community rather than feeling like a, a lost number in a school with, you know, 50,000, 60,000. Um, and I found that to be super helpful. At Towson, they're there, and they're very hands-on, and they're t they'll tell you straight if you're not at a, at a level that's sufficient. And I have so much love for the institution still to this day. Uh, very, very much. The most exciting performances for me are live festivals. Playing for, for crowds outside is just, there's no other type of magic. I, I find that I'm more nervous in a, in, a, in a room full of 15 people. It's very different. I would say that this is a multifaceted career that hinges on product, promotion, and the relationships that you build. I would describe my career as rather eclectic. I've had the opportunity to teach in private school, public school, at the middle school level, high school level, and at the college level, teaching in many topic areas. Guitar, music technology, music theory, band, choir, orchestra. So lots of amazing opportunities during my career. I have a lot of little jobs that are separate from the music that helps, I think, make it like a whole, you know, it makes everything balanced. We got to do, um a Prairie Home Companion two times, which is just a dream of mine because my dad was in radio. And we've also recorded two um, music videos um, and also three studio albums. And we're gonna record our fourth this year. Yep. Performing on the late shows and late, late shows, touring with a composer to Australia. And the best part of all of this is being able to play in bands with my friends. When I first got to Towson, I had no idea that I wanted to be an opera singer. It wasn't until my freshman year that I was involved in music for the stage's production of The Goose of Cairo, where I thought, hmm, I might have a shot at this. I definitely did not know what my career was going to be when I started. And I think it takes a while to know, and that's OK. And even when you do know, it could change at any time. Music school can be really hard. You have tons of ensembles, one-on-one -on -one lessons, your regular academic courses, music history, theory, and you're practicing a lot. You're probably going out on the weekends uh, performing and going to other people's gigs. I wish you guys the best of luck, and I know that you can accomplish accomplish anything that you want to. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks. Bye, guys. We loved Towson. We are so thankful. Yeah, and good luck to all of you great. who are thinking about the program. I hope